Do you have a small compressor like this one and you need a compatible spray gun to be able to do all your DIY projects at home? Well, stay tuned. Because this Campbell Horsfield gravity feed gun kit might be the answer you're looking for. What to do, kings and queens? It's your boy, the UP King, the People's Champ, back with another video. And today, man, I'm bringing to you the Campbell Hostel LVLP. Gravity feed spray gun kit. And uh, don't get that confused with HVLP. You got high volume, low pressure uh, spray guns, and you got low volume, low pressure spray guns. And uh, the difference between the two is HVLP takes a lot of air, LVLP takes lower air pressure. So for you guys that got them small compressors and you're looking for a gun, that uh, you can use at home without having that big compressor. We're going to see if this is uh, going to do the job right here. So I want to uh, do a quick review on it and uh, tell you my thoughts on it. And uh, really this video right here, man, was kind of inspired by the homie Grant 7, man, because he's doing uh, a shootout with the... Eastwood gun versus the Husky gun because they both use uh, lower air settings for the guns so he can spray with a small compressor. So I said, listen, man, uh, why don't I look up a gun that works all the way around for a low, uh, you know, low setting air pressure that will go great with a small compressor. And, you know, you, you see videos where guys is telling you, you know, LVLP guns, but they're using paint booths, you know, where they're getting all the air that they need and then just telling you that it'll work. But we're going to see for sure because I got a 21-gallon air compressor from Harbor Freight that I know probably many of you have, you know, and I'm going to hook it up. And we're going to spread. So it's just going to be like an in the garage, at home, DIY setup. And uh, we're going to see if this thing works for sure. I ain't going to hook it up to, you know, my big compressor and then tell you, oh, yeah, this is going to work. It's going to work fine. Like, we're going to see for sure if this thing is going to do the job, if it's going to stay consistent, if you're going to see drop in the air pressure, you know, because, you know, when you have some of them guns that's HVLP, and they take a lot of air and you're trying to spray with them and you spray them with a small compressor, the air pressure will drop. And when that air pressure drops, you know, you got to kind of wait for the compressor to catch up so you can continue spraying again. If not, sometimes the pr pressure drops and you'll spray a little too wet. Let's say you're spraying base or clear and you mess around and get a run because you don't have enough air there to push out the material and atomize like you need to. So, let's get this thing uh, opened up and see what we got up in here. All right, so if you can see that, it says gravity feed, spray gun kit, Campbell Hossfeld, 2.1 CFM at 40 PSI, and it's required by a, at least an eight gallon or larger compressor. So, we are gonna, uh, see what we got on the inside of the kit. So let's open it up and uh, see what we got. All right, so I'm looking at what it includes on the inside. And it's got a gravity feed full size spray gun. It also comes with a gravity feed touch up spray gun. Looks like it comes with two gauges, zero to 160 PSI air adjusting. Comes with some uh, paint filters. I believe that's strainers. 
Uh, Said some wood picks, cleaning brushes, a metal file, got some plugs and a coupler. Uh, look like some Teflon tape, some thread sealing tape. Comes with a wrench, a 4.1 ounce canister, and an 18.6 ounce canister. So uh, let's pop this thing open and uh, see what it looks like. That's what the picture looks like. So let's see what we got on the inside. First off, this thing comes in a pretty decent case. So you can put everything back in it. Pretty heavy duty. Thick, nice plastic that uh, should keep it safe if you were to drop it or anything like that. So you don't uh, mess up or destroy anything on the inside of the case. So let's get this thing open and uh, see what we got. Say it comes with the touch up gun and it comes with the regular full size gun. Got your tape, mini cup, full size cup. Comes with uh, 10 strainers, five filters. Got some instructions here and got a wrench to break everything down. Get these guns out and see what they, they feeling like. All right, so I got the full size gravity feed gun. It has a 1.4 tip. Uh, let's see if we can get that in there. If you can see that, 1.4. Um, I'm not gonna lie, man, this is like a heavy gun. like. This is a heavy gun. I mean, if you fill that cup up with some, some material, it's gonna be even heavier, so uh, you better get your rest, you know, before you start spraying with this thing, cause y'all aren't gonna get tired if you're doing an overall or anything like that. I'm gonna tell you that for sure. This, it's, it's heavy. <laughs> I don't even have a cup on and I can't even imagine what it'll feel like with some fluid in it. So, uh, another thing I kind of don't care for is uh, they got that grease on it, that kind of like something that you get from when uh, you get the purple guns from like Harbor Freight. It has the grease on it, the packing grease. That uh, I think they do that to keep it from rusting out. So, uh, when you first get it, clean it before you do anything. Clean it thoroughly because uh, that packing grease and stuff, you put that material in, it will cause a reaction if you don't clean it. So make sure you clean it. You know, some thinner acetone, clean the gun out real good, and uh, then you should be good to go. But break it down, clean it thoroughly. So... Looks like they got, if I can get it up out of here, goodness, it's packed uh, pretty tight. So, like I said, this case is going to keep it safe if you need it. Um, I don't even see what it says as far as the tip on, oh, okay, 0 0.8. That's the tip size for the touch-up gun. And again, if you can see that. It's got the grease on it. So again, clean both of them before you attempt to use them. 
you know, let's see if you can see that. See the little yellowish tint, brownish? That's the grease. So you definitely want to clean the guns before you attempt to use them. But uh, again, even the touch-up gun is heavy. So this is this is real heavy. I see that they're uh, made in China. So we'll definitely see how long they last. Cause you know, I like to use the guns. I don't just do reviews and then, you know, I just set the gun off to the side and I go back to my normal gun. Like I use the guns that I buy. That's why I spend my money for them. So I use them and uh, we gonna see what they do. Uh, let's see if we can get out. Yo, it's tough getting this stuff up out of here. You know what? I'm not even finna fool with trying to get all this stuff out and show it to you. I showed you what it looks like on the inside. I gave you a view of everything that's inside of it. If you purchase this, then you'll see exactly what's inside of it. And quite frankly, we're not here to just look at it and talk about it and, you know, see if it looks nice or not or anything like that. I mean, it's plain Jane, you know? So we here for some results, man. And I'm really anxious to see what that 1.4 is gonna do because, uh, you know, that 1.4, it can leave a little orange peel. So we gonna see if this thing can, you know, lay down some base, lay down some clear, and uh, keep us to where we don't have some serious orange peel. But, uh, yeah, let's get to it, man. Let's get to it. See what this thing do. All right, so our guinea pig for this uh, experiment is uh, Lincoln Town Car. And uh, had a little work needed to be done to it. Nothing special. Place the bumper. Actually, the bumper wasn't even there. So a customer brought a bumper. Got a new grill for it. Uh, had a little damage right there in the hood. And replaced the fender. So let's see if we can uh, take you to that. Let me see that. So replaced the fender. And the uh, fender has some damage. So we just gonna panel paint this and see if this gun can uh, do what it needs to do. So I already got the gun set up. I got it set at 20 pounds. And uh, we're gonna see if uh, this thing will uh, lay this paint down without any issues with using a small compressor. So uh, let me show you what compressor I'm using. All right, as you can see, we got the Harbor Freight compressor, central pneumatic. So like I said, it's probably many of you guys that might have this same compressor. So it's nothing special. You can see on there, stage, single stage, pressure switch, ratings. It's only a 21 gallon tank, uh, 2.5 horsepower. And that's the model number. If you don't have this and you're thinking about getting a compressor and this setup. So again, 2.5, 21 gallon, 125 max. So this is probably something that you might have in your garage. This is a whole garage setup, as I stated before. So this is not in my paint booth. As you can see, I got the line hooked up to the compressor. And uh, we're gonna spray this and see what type of results we get. And see if this gun can do the job of being in a garage with a small compressor and actually paint this thing without any issues and the compressor running like crazy and then dropping the air and uh, causing you to have a whole lot of wait time to try to get the job done. 
So hopefully that's what we're gonna do, we're gonna accomplish here is uh, a paint gun that can keep up with a small compressor or a small compressor that can keep up with a paint gun that doesn't draw a lot of air. And uh, if so, then this will be a nice setup for somebody in a garage setup that doesn't have a big 60 or 80 gallon uh, compressor and they just got something small and they still want to do, you know, their projects at home in the garage or outside under some, you know, you got some of them pop-up tents and stuff like that that I see people working out of, you know, so just trying to bring a little information to the channel that might help somebody out to be able to still get it done without having to spend a ton of money. So hopefully we get some good results on this and uh, then we'll talk about it and see what we like, what we don't like, what we think. So without further ado, let's get to it.
All right, so we saw the gun in action and uh, honestly, it did pretty good. And I kind of wrote a list here of things that I liked that I didn't like on the gun kit overall, not just the gun, but the gun kit itself. And um, let me just go ahead and jump into this list. So the gun sprayed consistently. So I didn't feel like, uh, or it didn't drop any air at all. I didn't lose air. It didn't feel like I had to wait on the compressor. I had the air right there, you know, every time I pulled the trigger to uh, spray material. Um, when I originally started off at like 20 pounds, I bumped it up to 26 pounds, no problem. When I sprayed the clear, jumped it up to 30 pounds, no problem. So it sprayed pretty good. I was gonna say fantastic, but you know, I don't wanna give it like too much, but it sprayed good. So that was one thing. Um, it atomized the material between the base, which that was a metallic, between the base and the clear, it atomized great. Uh, it had the 1.4 tip, and I thought that might leave like some heavy orange peel or something like that, but it flowed out nice, uh, very light orange peel. You know, it definitely would sand out easy if that's what I wanted to do, and then polish back up, no problem nice gloss finish so that was uh surprisingly well um but the few things that i didn't like was uh i don't like how heavy the gun is i mean it's like really heavy in the hand and then when you put a lot of material in the cup that just makes it even heavier so that's one thing i didn't care for uh, another thing was uh, when I got done spraying, cleaning the gun out, uh, I like to put like thinner in the gun and put it in the cup, kind of swish it around a little bit. And uh, when I did that, I had the cup on tight and it still kind of leaked and got on the cup and everything like that. So I feel like that's something that you might have to watch out for just, you know, in case you got like a lot of material in the cup. Uh, so you don't have to go back and forth so much with getting material for the cup. So I probably would uh, change this out and try to find a PPS system, you know, that would uh, be compatible with this gun. That way I don't have to worry so much about the gun leaking on me. Uh, another thing was the case. So, for the case, it just, I didn't care for uh, how difficult it was to get, you know, the guns and uh, uh, adjust air adjusters out, can't even talk. But I, I, I thought it was difficult getting everything out of the case. So that's a good and a bad thing, like, um, when you have everything in your case and you got it put up, you got it stored, then let's say somehow something knocks it over, it falls, it'll keep it protected. But when you're ready to paint, you you get to it and you're trying to pull you know, your guns out and whatever else you're gonna pull up out of there. And it's kind of difficult getting it up out of there. Like you, you gotta, really fight with it or get something to kind of like pry it out of there so i didn't care for that but like i said that's a good thing or a bad thing so all in all man not too bad i definitely think this gun would uh get the job done in my opinion now i'm gonna have to test it out and see if i can do an overall paint job with it and see how it does because that was just panel painting which you know it did a great job with that but i definitely would like to see what it would do in an overall paint job to where you know you constantly going constantly going and needing that air you know to continue going you know over the whole vehicle 
So that'll be definitely something that I try here in the future. But in my opinion, this will be a good purchase. I think it works well with a small compressor, as it says. And uh, you know what? Let me hit you guys with the price. So I found this on Amazon and got it shipped to me for $72. And I think I've searched and I saw where you can get it at Walmart as well. So you can either get it at Walmart, buy it at uh, Amazon, get it shipped to you. You know, day or two, you had his gun in your possession. And uh, like I said, clean it, clean it thoroughly and you you ready to rock and roll so this your boy the up king telling you that this gravity feed spray gun kit is not a bad buy at 72 dollars you know so hope you uh enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment subscribe hit that notification bell and share it and uh guess what we out Everything will be